Hello everyone, this is my second video for standard 8 language direct speech and indirect speech. In the previous video, I told you uh, that how the change of tense uh, occurs uh, if the reporting verb is in present tense we do not change the tense but if the reporting verb is in past tense like if the reporting verb is he said or told then we will change the tense. Now how that change occurs we will see it we will see in this chart. Now you see from present simple when it will be reported speech from if the direct speech is in simple present or present simple it will become past simple or simple past tense in the <coughs> reported speech. See the example she said I like ice cream. She said that she liked ice cream. Children so one thing you notice this sentence is all are assertive sentence. Whatever example I gave in my previous video those are also assertive. Assertive means they are statement, statement sentence. So, in statement sentence, so one thing you must have noticed that we write after the, in the reported speech, after the reported verb, we write one that, that is mentioned in the reported speech when we transform, when we convert. Now, present continuous tense will become past continuous like I am living in London. She said that she was living in London. So, pronoun is changing according to the rule and now we have seen that tense also is changing like present continuous becomes past continuous. But be very sure when these changes are occurred when the reporting verb is in past form like said it is not says or say. Next is if the uh, present continuous becomes past continuous. Now, similar way if it is past present perfect tense, it becomes past perfect tense. If it is present uh, perfect continuous tense, it will become past perfect continuous tense. It happens like this. Now, you see present perfect how it becomes past perfect. She said, I have not seen Julie. She said that she had not seen Julie. So, present perfect became past perfect tense. Now, if uh, it is simple past tense, if the tense is simple past, it changes into past perfect tense. See the example. She said, I bought a car. Here, this I bought a car is written in past tense. So, it will become she said that she had bought a car. That means simple past changes into past perfect tense. Now, past continuous tense you see. She said I was walking along the street. This is written in past continuous tense. So, past continuous will change into past perfect continuous. She said that she had been walking along the street. So, these two changes change. Uh, children do mistake. So, you have to be very sure all the present tense, simple present, simple past, present continuous, past continuous, present perfect, past perfect, present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous. Here example is not given of present perfect continuous but it happens like that only. But in the past tense what happens, this is important, very very important to remember that past simple tense changes into past perfect tense. And past continuous tense changes into past perfect continuous tense. Do not forget this. Next is past perfect. Past perfect will remain past perfect only. Only we will change the pronoun and that will be added. Like she said, I had taken English lessons before. So, it will be she said that she had taken English lessons before. Now, children, this you see some auxiliaries how it changes if the reporting verb is in past. Will will become would, would will remain would, can becomes could, could remain could, shall should, should remain should, might will remain might, must will become had to. This must also children do mistake. They do not change must in the indirect speech or reported speech. Now see all the example I have given. I hope so seeing the example you will understand how we are changing when we are using auxiliary in case of reported speech or indirect speech we do not change the main verb 
we change the auxiliary into past form this is very important see the first example she said i will see you later she said that she would she would uh, see me later so see remains see only but will becomes would so when we write one sentence in the direct speech using auxiliary in case of reported speech or indirect speech those auxiliaries changes from its form but the main verb doesn't change like this all the example you see can becomes could could remains could like that so i hope this uh, well, this chart you all of you have understood now i'll uh, tell you one more very important change which happens that is time expressions time expressions with reported speech you see this chart will help you a lot how the time expression changes now becomes then or at that time today becomes that day yesterday becomes previous day or the day before last night becomes the night before last week becomes the week before or the previous week tomorrow becomes today tomorrow becomes the next day or the following day so this is the time expression now you see the example direct speech he said i am meeting my brother tomorrow what will be the indirect speech she said that she was meeting her brother the following day so tomorrow becomes the following day here are some more example she said i had a headache yesterday in direct speech she said that she had a headache the day before or the previous day also correct it has been raining since this afternoon she said that it had been raining since that afternoon so like this this you see here this afternoon becomes that for that afternoon so some more changes you see ago becomes before here becomes there this becomes that come go now this come becomes go not in all cases it depends when we will do some sentences or ex exercise you will understand some cases we change come to go so next video i'll explain you uh, the next part like uh, interrogative sentence uh, how to change then imperative sentence and then exclamatory sentence